Hi, I'm Allison. We're enjoying some lovely weather and as summer's getting started, I was thinking about it, pretty soon there's going to be problems with food and ants. So, I decided today would be a good day to make a do-it-yourself um, ant repellent. And I'm going to use a couple items. I'm going to use a little container like this. This is blue. It's glass. I got it from Amazon. And I think, I forget, I think this is two ounces. I'm going to make a small bottle today of ant repellent. And I have three ingredients that we're going to use. I'm using Young Living Essential Oils Tea Tree Oil. I'm going to use peppermint oil. And I'm also going to use, um, you can choose a citrus oil of your choice. I'm choosing lemon today. It's one of the cheaper oils. Um, so if you choose to use it, go ahead and use lemon. Anyways, I'm going to get started. I'm following the recipe um, modified because I'm using a smaller bottle. So I am going to definitely use this little funnel. As you can see this funnel, I'll put this here. I'm actually gonna add some water first because we don't want the essential oils to spill out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some water to this cute little funnel. And then I'm gonna add it, oh, you can see about to this, um, a little bit more close to the neck where it bends. But once again, you don't wanna fill it so much that you your essential oils spill out. So I am going to, like I said, modify with tea tree oil. I'm going to put in two drops of tea tree oil. And you could do it with or without the funnel, it's okay. So I'm gonna open my tea tree. And then I'm going to go ahead and put one, two drops. If a third one goes in, that's okay. Next, I am, now because Young Living Essential Oils are so concentrated, there's a strong smell right away. Um, next, I'm going to add two drops of peppermint. If I were doing a full 16 ounce bottle, it would be 15 drops of tea tree oil, 15 drops of peppermint, and then seven drops of your citrus. But because this is so small, it's two, two, and one of your citrus. So I'm gonna put two of the peppermint. Ooh, is this is always so strong. I've almost got one in, let's see if I can do it. Get the exact two, that's hard. Sometimes the third one pops out, but once again, peppermint is great, one, and it will smell like Christmas, <laughs> two. One and two. Next, I'm going to add the citrus oil that I chose, which was lemon. Lemon is great and um, always uplifting too. Oh, two dropped in, it's gonna be okay. Once in a while that happens. Now, I'm probably not gonna top off the water just so that the essential oils don't spill out. Your final thing, we're gonna go like this. Just close it, mix it, and if you wanna spray, you just go ahead and spray. You can check if it sprays. And I would spray it in the house wherever you think that, it, that um, you might be getting ants, either to prevent them or to get rid of them once you see them. So, good luck, and I hope you don't get ants. And if you do, this is a great do-it-yourself ant repellent. No toxins, that's the best part. Thanks, thanks for watching.